That's our second matchup on stream of the quarterfinals. Not all matches will be streamed just yet, but we still have a couple hundred people in the tournament. You can check out the brackets. There should be a link on charyukin.com, if not evo2k.com. And you can follow along at home. Yep. This is uh, final rounds, too much damage against Stab It Sword. So indeed a uh, Atlanta area player. Yep. And I think he did I think he did pretty really well at final round, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe top sixteen. Oh, looks like they're ready to go. Buttons duly checked. So it's going to be uh, Zero, Wesker, and uh, Magneto versus Wolverine, Dormammu, and Wesker. All right, so too much damage with Magneto beam assist, obviously, for the teleports. Got Wesker to extend that combo potential to zero. And this is actually a, a pretty tough fight for Wolverine. Uh, zero really controls the ground. Dive kick is not all too threatening. There's stuff like that. Yeah, and uh, depending on what too much damage gets in this situation. Oh, no, okay, he's not going not gonna to kill Wolverine. Sabotor with a nice block, expecting the cross up there. But yeah, you, you can see, real tough for his character to get in. Yeah, I was, I was just going to say, I was wondering if he was looking for an opportunity to, to hard tag. That's what he did. But final rounds, too much damage came right in. Trying to see the loop? No, I guess not. The Rambo just... I, I, I'm not really sure what Sabotor is, is trying to do at this point. He's playing very patiently. Yeah. Not really doing a whole lot. It's not getting him anywhere, and too much damage though, he may be dropping his combos. He's showing like great movement, great control of the screen, playing the uncommon but very strong zoning game with Zero as well. Right. Using the fireball. Oh no, drops again. Nice. That instant buster. And now it's just Wesker remaining. Saying just Wesker sounds a little weird because he does have level 3 X Factor available to him, but yeah. you really can't do anything after you pop X Factor uh, through a block string from zero with that instant buster in your face. And looks like too much damage, just trying to run out that X Factor time. He'd be more than happy to spend a couple of meters to force Stab it towards Wesker to not be able to use its X Factor. I, I really like the style. He's not, he's not at all over aggressive with zero. And that's okay. That, that hit is all perfectly fine. Oh, nice! He had the, the launcher right there. And he pops his own X Factor. I Chip becoming an issue. There it is. Yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly why. He, he might have been able to get punished if that launcher is chicken guarded, so he might have just been preemptively going for the X Factor a little bit ahead of himself. So let's see whether Stab and Sword can get in. A little bit better with his Wolverine, who's just never able to do so. Okay, and he does, but he doesn't get the full combo out of it. He's doing some damage on Magneto. Can't get too... Wow, X-Factor just like that. I don't really... I don't like this, because I don't really think that Wolverine is a big issue for too much damage. He did such a good job of keeping Stabitor's Wolverine out last time. Yeah. Very convincingly. I think he got too worried about Magneto back there. He popped it to save his life. Finally. There we go. And, yep, that's it. Good oh, block. great block. Yeah. And it's really the, the, the ensuing block after that. He goes back to the original side. Great stuff from Stab Out Sword. So he's been blocking well, uh, but he hasn't really been able to make anything happen with Dormammu. And his Dormammu's come in without a lot of meter. The way that too much damage is playing, a random chaotic flame, but you know, I guess chaotic flame would actually work well, but it just doesn't really have the meter to burn. Yeah, I, just, I, I don't really see him 
like either going on the attack that hard with Dormammu or setting up the zone very well. Now he's got something after the air throw. Will he DHC on there? Oh, he's going to X-Factor rather. Puts out ball. He'll kill zero and Wester's going to have to deal with it. Wow. wow, nice timing on the assist call. How about that? And actually great positioning as well. It's kind of hard to place that ball. But he had it perfectly, right on top of him. Just gets his character out of there. Wow, he squeezed him! Nice! That's a smart move. Yeah. Very smart move. He, he knew that Wesker was, he had the gunshot. I mean, you could see it after his, after his initial super. Yep. I'll fail you to block on his head. Almost got him a little bit low there, but nice. Gets to save the meter. And I, I, I don't know how confident Sabitzord is feeling right now. This is not unwinnable, but... Because Dormammu just hasn't, you know, made a ton happen so far. There's, there's a lot that he's not doing with Dormammu. You know, we haven't really seen any really proper zoning. We haven't really seen any spells, so too much damage to kind of go in there. Is that ball? Yes. Smart. So even though he's not playing the zoning game, finally charged the spells. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh. He had he was going to make it happen with Dark Matter. There it is. Yeah. Dormammu is so strong. So he's playing the more of uh, what has been dubbed the Master CJ style of Dormammu. Getting a little bit more aggressive and just trying to find those air dash hits. That's going to work. That, I don't think that's his best choice against too much damage to his team. And, and the problem is that he doesn't really he doesn't have a beam assist to help him make that happen. Yeah. Can he keep the loop up? Not all the way. Everyone drops that these days. Except Killer Kai. That guy's pretty good at it. He is pretty good at it. Oh, oh nice, nice. anti-air. Couldn't keep it up. Yeah, he had a great an uh, angle on that anti-air there. Knew exactly where it was going to come from. Teleporting so recklessly. Zero was at the top of the screen and he did the teleport. Just, he wouldn't get anything off of that. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Now, can too much damage get this? Dormammu is the character who basically won it in the end for Stabbit Sword. That's not going to be the case this time. It's up to Wesker. Nice blocking. Oh, here it is. He's got two just like that. And that was great. He had just released the buster. He didn't have it yet. He was trying to get Magneto there before the character fell out and just didn't get it quite in time. Oh, he landed right on top. Stabbit Sword couple of big time comebacks and he can definitely make this work on Magneto. But Magneto trying to stay mobile and he gets him! Wow, Man! Too much damage just failed to block low. He might have been going for up back? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Side. I think he knows he needs to get it together there. I, I feel like he's controlled most of this set and despite that he is down two to one. Yeah. But it is three out of five. Okay. X factor zero. All right. Wolverine makes something happen finally, and, and he's going to try to take advantage of it as much as possible. Ooh, in a little bit of risky format, but it's going to yeah. work. I do not think that he needed to do that, but he took a meter away at least. Wesker getting popped now by Wolverine. He has an OTG assist here, but he still popped the X factor and all. Yeah, I guess he's just worried about that zero. Wow, I, he didn't. He didn't have anything. To have the opponent in block stun. Yeah. And when you just do that raw, it's not safe. Uh, it has about four frames of recovery. Not quite three bars. I think he wanted that three for the squeeze on that, but didn't have it. Okay. Is he going to burn it this time? No. Okay, there it is. Got himself some extra damage, a little bit of extra meter as well. Right back into his Wesker. Ooh! Nice. A couple of teleports there. Stabbit Sword, who had them blocking pretty well. Really? Wow. I, I don't I think he would have done well to just X-Factor in that combo, get the kill on Dormammu. Yeah. He would have uh, still some X-Factor left on Wesker. He still gets the best of the ensuing exchange. He should be able to take this game with one mix up. Yeah, not looking great for Dormammu here. There it oh, we landed on top of him, but nothing else. He was fine. 
and an air dash back. Oh, yeah. Either way, you're going to get hit. So two to two now. Too much damage. Staying alive. That was the best we had seen Sabator do with Wolverine. And he, just like that, he lands on him, and he's got two again. And he only gets Magneto. But right back in here. Not going to use X-Factor this time. Not yet, anyway. Oh, no, he drops it. And it right back in after the first two games when Wolverine was not a factor at all. He has done a lot of work. Too much damage back and off to try to set something up. Like you said, he's got that Magneto assist to try to use the, the teleport uh, mix-up, and it's worked out a lot more. All right. Nice. Oh, okay. That was some good-looking stuff. Level three on this guy. This might just do it. Quick damage on level three. Yeah. Got it. That's great for too much damage. He's put himself in an excellent position here. X-Factor just like that. Yeah, and too much damage waiting for it. There it is. He had the launcher anti-air. That should be it. And recovery. it is too much damage. Moves on past Stab at Sword. Yeah, the spotlight's going now. Yeah, we got fancy lighting and everything. Oh, yeah, you can see it on screen right there. In that sea of humanity. Look at that on screen. It looks crazy. It is tough to navigate that sea of humanity, right? man. You get through that, trying to go to the bathroom, it takes no. like 10 minutes. No. Should have brought my catheter. <laughs> <laughs> 